called Jacob Duffney here, and you are watching Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. Today we will fa be facing the gym. Another great day in the gym. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was probably um, Josh. He's a bit of a runner. Yes. It is a grass type gym. And I'm and because of that I am going to put Cooper out in front as he's super effective against it. And I didn't really heal, but I didn't all I faced were those po those um water types. So there's that. So now let's go face this gym. And in this gym, you cannot face the gym leader until you found all the trainers in battle. As you can see, the gym leader is not here. Where they went after they got in here? Not the slightest idea. But what I do know is that we need to zigzag around in here. I thought there's someone back here. Maybe I'm just going a bit crazy. It's probably a ladder for being honest with each other. But there are four people that you need to find. Where the heck are they? Let me go this direction. There's one chick around here. If I can't navigate myself in here. I just ran around. And I think this gym particular kind of sucks due to the 3D graphics. It's a bit harder to find the trainers and see them compared to the old games. So that would be really kind of the only really challenging part about this gym. And this gym, I would possibly say is one of the hardest gyms in the game, specifically because fire and flying types are really the only advantage over them. And at this point in the game, you're stuck with either Staravia or Chimchar, if you started with Chimchar, or um, Ponyta, if because those are really the only things that's really effective against this gym in this part of the game, and really in the whole entire game as a whole, there's still not that many flying type Pokemon. I mean, you could have got that Chad out if you caught a um, Weasel earlier, but yeah, that's kind of really the only downfall of this gym. But thankfully to me, I do have have my Staravia and dang, it's kind of really hard to navigate here. Oh my goodness, when I played Shine Pearl earlier, I did not have an issue finding them. Where are they in here? I feel like I'm failing right now. Just showing you guys how to get through this game and I'm can't find the other three trainers. And this gym kind of sucks with the 3D layouts. Well, walk on a grid and I don't know if I explained this earlier but you can actually walk on a grid by using the arrow keys rather than the joystick so 
Is there anything on these rocks? Oh. Found her. I bet some of you guys are probably yelling at me. Shut up! Sorry, my dog is barking at absolutely nothing. That seems to be a recurring theme. Got a little Pomeranian who likes to bark. Whose name is Snow because he's white and fluffy. Maybe I'll put a picture of him as a thumbnail. Yay, super effective. Let's keep going, Staravia. Good old Koopa. Yeah. So that's two down, two more to go. You know, this person wasn't here earlier. I think you actually have to do go in a particular order. And we're gonna use wing attack. I think there's at least one trainer in the th that has each of the three star Pokemon because we fought someone with a Piplup earlier. Now she has a Turtwig. I think there's someone else in the game other than our rival that that has um, Chimchar. Yeah, you do have to go in a particular order. So it's my bad for not knowing that, and I apologize. Kind of. And we'll give it a solid wing attack, and then we'll go face the gym later. Good Dracklin's getting up there. And I'm gonna remove tackle for bite. And giving us twelve hundred dollars. Okay. Well that being said. Getting through this gym is not that all that hard. I'm gonna save my progress. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna go heal just to make sure I have enough PP on my wing attack to get through the gym. And I will be right back. And I am back.
healed up. So now, let's take on the gym leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, I do like to win. Haven't lost a battle yet. I will become the Pokemon Master, be the very best like no one ever was. Because to catch them is my real test, and to train them is my cause. Just casually speaking the lyrics to the Pokemon theme song. Alright, so let's check this out. So, was not expecting a one hit KO on that. So,. You should be roughly around my level, I would say. Maybe a level or two higher. And so this will should be a fairly, well, I mean, unless you have Chimchar, Ponyta, or Staravia, there's really nothing else that's super effective against these guys. And I may take them out before I'm finished explaining myself here. Goodness God. But yeah, Roserade is going to be her toughest Pokemon. But, unless you have one of those three Pokemon I mentioned, this gym might be slightly challenging. They are going to be roughly in the 20th, if you average them out between 19 and 22. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything for you. And I do think I have you concerned. And that's gonna do like nothing to me. I mean, that did more than I thought, but yeah. And just like that, I win. 12 and a half minutes into this video here. And I have Beat the gym. I'm going to take out. No, I'll take out tackle. I don't ever use tackle. And just like that, we win. But yeah, this gym is really nothing to be overly concerned about. Maybe a little bit tough at this stage of the game, but still shouldn't be a problem. Unless you're using Pokemon that's all weak, like Piplup and Manaphy and Weasel, then you may have a problem. But if you're not monotyping, you should be able to defeat it pretty easily. Yeah, and we get the uh, second badge. And in the original games, you could actually shine the badges. And you can actually do that on this game too, but you have to be playing it in handheld mode because there's actually touch features in this game that can be used if you're playing in handheld mode handheld mode excuse me and such as doing with the poke edge you can mess with that with or touch features but yeah that's really it to this gym I'm going to go do one thing here, and then we'll call that a wrap. On second thought, I'm actually going to call that a wrap right here, because the next part of this game is going to progress the storyline a bit, as I just thought of that. So I'm going to call that it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful night.